I used to be just like you. So they put drugs in me that will allow me to use 100% of my brain. Lucy is the first human being to unlock more than 10% of her brain. At 24%, she can control the cells in her body. Do we really know what our potential is? Hello, YouTubes. This is Brendan with another conscious movie review, just on my way to the movie theater, to Silver City. And this time, I'm going to go see Lucy, starring Star Scarlett Johansson and, and Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman! And Morgan Freeman basically plays another role similar to God-like higher mind consciousness that's helping us remember more about this reality. Because the, the story behind Lucy is about a girl who unlocks more of the potential within her brain. And then eventually become, she becomes like extra specially psychic, uh, kind of like in the movie Akira, and uh, transcends our regular perception, perception of time and space. So I look forward to seeing what this movie has to help remind us. And uh, yeah, stay tuned, stay tuned for the full review. All right, Lucy, here we go. In the sky with diamonds, you know. What did you do to me? Something very special. It is said that we humans only use 10% of our brain. Now let's discuss a special case. Lucy, her brain capacity is increasing by the minute. You can unlock secrets that go beyond our universe. I'm not even sure that mankind is ready for it. What happens when she reaches 100%? So there's the sun, and here I am, an extension of the sun, aka Brendan, doing another conscious movie review, and this time stepping out of Lucy, and definitely off the start, this is a really shifty movie. And by shifty, I mean it has a lot of thought-expanding themes and ideas, and uh, I will say, spoilers, if you don't want to be spoiled and you plan to go see this movie, then go see it, I recommend it, and then we can talk about it, and you can watch this video after you've seen it. But for those who want to just learn more about how this movie uh, fits into the bigger picture, well, you know, I'm always saying that movies are a very interesting thing, and definitely when you have a director who themselves are conscious and they work in a lot of conscious themes, and conscious themes are just things of just being aware, you know, like being having the eye open, being aware to like, being aware of our reality, being aware of our surroundings, being more sensitive, being more empathetic, being more perceptive. So Lucy, the character within this movie, played by Scarlett Johansson, which she herself has been in some other some other very interesting consciousness shifting movies, uh, such as Her. I recommend go watching that movie as well. And uh, in this movie, her character gets picked up by like the Japanese mom, and she gets a synthetic drug put inside of her, and then the drug pouch leaks, and then it's like starts exploding her cells, and then through this, I mean, they sort of summarize it, they're just like, oh, she's unlocking more of the potential within her brain. But I think it makes more sense if it's just like more of her potential potential. And it's not just like everything is doing in the brain, because you realize that the intelligence of the body, like every cell is, is an intelligence. And, and yes, like signals are coming from the brain, but it's her uh, just becoming completely aware of her body. Like this is what happens in the movie. And she can sense things, she can like sense all of the cells, all the blood moving throughout her body she can sense like all of the, she can sense gravity she can sense like all the different frequencies hitting her and she says you know the vibrations so in this theme it's getting people aware of the idea that like life is very quantum and uh, life is also very interesting in terms of vibrations are like it vibrations create form vibrations are everything and this is a study of cymatics and and I think like this movie without saying that directly it's it's a getting there and it's also showing you images of like fractals and stuff so when you see some of the visions like from her her perspective it's with the veil pulled back and uh, that's like something that sort of coincides as um, as we sort of gain access to our potential it's also this coinciding factor of the veils and the filters being lifted and then eventually she begins to like start bending bullets or well yes yes and no but definitely starts like bending reality she can change matter and and just like move into more of her place within the uh, co-creative aspect of molding things as if it were a dream as if we are in that lucid state to begin with uh, the whole like there is no spoon thing like you know she was becoming neo from the matrix like this whole archetype once again of uh, us stepping into our potential as uh, dreamers uh, within this dream is one way I, I sort of see this character reappearing again. So there's a lot of really cool things that happen in this movie and 
I, I could tell you just about like a few of them and stuff like that. It does get very Akira. Uh, she does get like the psychic nature where she can control things beyond herself, you know? Again, like her consciousness, the consciousness, our consciousness can be uh, thought of as non-local uh, in a lot of ways, but she has that ability to be beyond the threshold. So it was a very interesting thing because like, we do seem to, that as if there is a, or at least a theory within this movie is that like it's sort of a threshold and once you sort of like go through a membrane then you continuously unlock like more of that human potential but then it's uh, also just, I think um, the only thing that this, this movie is missing is just like the reaffirmation that a lot of the stuff that she's experiencing is stuff that we can tap into without the use of synthetic, chemi synthetic chemicals and stuff like that. I mean, that's not what he was saying regardless. But just reminding people that, you know, the stuff that mystics talk about and just like experiencing higher dimensions, remote viewing and stuff, like that was exactly, exactly what we see her experiencing in the movies. So, I mean, like all the astral projection type stuff ideas, she actually does that as she unlocks more of her potential. So, you see that, you see these themes, and um, it really brings things to an interesting perspective, especially with Morgan Freeman. And again, Morgan Freeman is a very interesting character because he's been in a lot of movies where he's played this archetype similar to sort of God. And literally in like a few movies, he literally does play God. But it's just more of a, again, another reminder, another lens, another mirror for us to see ourselves off of. And so he's kind of like a you know nature type scientist and helps paint the picture coinciding along with the story of Lucy as this movie's unfolding. So there's a lot of really cool and some of the just the quotes that she says like she's like she says like we never really die you know like that's what happens her her understanding of reality goes so quantum and, and just like so much that she can see uh, beyond the illusion she can see beyond the illusion and that's the thing I don't think we need to like be like filled up with drugs uh, by the yakuza in order to like see beyond the illusion but this movie is helping us this movie is saying like you know like here's Lucy's experience and through watching this movie, you actually get to experience what she experienced. And that in itself is coming into the awareness of unity. And it gets really interesting because it gets to the point where it's, again, it, it pulls it back to time. And it's just like, well, what does it mean when we go outside of time, right? And time is like the consistent thing that like keeps things present. It keeps things in a tangible form where we can like measure them and look, them, look at them and touch them and feel them and interact with them and love them. And without time, like everything is just like, it, it would look as if it doesn't, it, it, it's, it's always, it's, it's beyond words, <laughs> but, but it's also beyond time. So time, I think is a very interesting thing, and, and time, I think, just from my own idea, I, I was shifting my own paradigm, and I was like, whoa, like, I think time is light. Time is like the absorption of just like more light absorbing itself over time, something along those lines. So another, um, she says, yeah, and then by the end, and again, like this is spoilers and stuff, like she gets like all Akira and she turns into like a bunch of like tentacles and stuff, but she doesn't go like super big like in, in, like uh, uh, Tetsuo did in, uh, in Akira, but obviously this movie's influenced by that and she can like use her telepathic powers and it's really cool, it's really cool to see the movie explore that and um, eventually by the end she just like becomes everything and everywhere so yeah she's like I am everywhere so it, that's kind of the idea so it's really interesting I would definitely go recommend seeing Lucy that's my conscious review of it for now and uh, yeah if you're interested go also go watch the movie her by Scarlett with Scarlett Johansson in it that would be another one recommended but the next one coming up after this would be the Guardians of the Galaxy uh, I know I've said that previously but that'll be interesting I'll see what I can pull out of that um, but definitely definitely the movie Lucy is uh, once again another piece within our cinema within coming casted by the Hollywood the Hollywood stick the spell the magic wand the Hollywood being casted into the minds of culture and in this case for positive reasons to help us remember our unity and to realize uh, that we are an extension of everything so I like that idea yeah, you know like the universe wanted this experience so it brought itself into our individual forms and then it made it forget what it really was and its connection to everything so it could go through the process of Unlearn, like unlearning and also unlocking and remembering and relearning and all these other exciting things. So I'm excited, that's what we're doing. Yeah, go team, go universe. Woo! All right, so there you go. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys around in the future, presumably is usually how it works out. But yeah, awesome stuff and uh, continue to practice your awareness. Uh, just continue, you know, that's what this movie's saying that like, we can continue to tap into like our different abilities and, and uh, gradually pull back our own filters, knowing that the filters are there in the first place. So we're all becoming more psychic, 
as long as we're putting our attention towards that and uh, I'm excited, yeah, so. All right, we'll talk about it later. There you go, there's your movie review. All right, go see Lucy. Awesome, good stuff. Yes? I'm Professor Norman, my name's Lucy. I just read all your research on the human brain. It's a little rudimentary, but you're on the right track. Oh, thank you. I have access to 28% of my cerebral capacity. I can feel every living thing. Since when did you start writing Chinese? Since an hour ago. What happens when she reaches 100%? I have no idea. All this knowledge, you can unlock secrets that go beyond our universe. I'm not even sure that mankind is ready for it. It's like all things that make a human are fading away. Ah! 